What's up guys, welcome to your very first 3D's Max tutorial. Hopefully this is the first of many. In uh, these tutorials we're going to be going from beginner to very advanced, awesome um, animator and modeler. So, you know, go ahead and get ready. Prepare for it. Just want to let you know. So, you probably open this and you're like, WTF is all this and you don't even know where to begin or even what buttons to start messing up or clicking or anything. Well, I'm not going to keep you from messing anything up, but I am. The first thing I want to do is pretty much go over everything and tell you what it's called and uh, a quick overview of what it does. So let's start right on top where we begin with uh, most pieces of software. This bar up here is called the menu. These are where you click in all of your menus drop down. Pretty much every single thing is contained in here. It's like pretty much the heart of your program. Um, right under it, if we click away, this is our toolbar right here. This is where the most common tools that we use to create stuff, um, this is where they are. So anytime I see I say toolbar, uh, you know, you know it look right here. So under this, this thing right here with the graphite modeling tool freeform and selection, this is called the ribbon. Now I'm not even gonna tell you guys what this does yet because it's pretty advanced and it'll just confuse you. So, aside from these little things right here, you get this big mama right here. All of this stuff right here. Now, this is actually four different little boxes, if you can't tell. And all of these things are called viewports. And if you couldn't guess already, this is where you view your object from different angles. So, let me go ahead and create an object real quick. I know you guys don't know how to create one yet, but um, bear with me. This is just for an example see this is the top view right here this is the front view of the cube I just created this is the left view and this is the perspective view right here so it's the same object it's just four different views so that's what the viewport is now aside from the viewport another main section of this is the command panel and the command panel is this right here and I know it's probably hard to see well, this command panel is actually six different tabs in one. And these are the tabs up here. So anytime I say go to your command panel and click on um, the create tab, you'll know that it's right there. And if, and if you see something like um, these right here, and you're like, how the heck did you get that? That's not in mine. Then that means you're on the wrong tab. So aside from that, I guess the only other thing that's uh, apparent in 3ds max is this lower interface and this is called if you couldn't guess it's the lower interface oh yeah that's what I'm talking about and this pretty much is used for animation and these over here are to like um view your viewport or views in different ways but we'll be talking about these in detail later so now that we got that under control, the only other thing I want to talk to you guys about pretty much with naming conventions before we go into the specifics is pretty much where the file buttons are located. You see edit tools group, here's your save stuff. Your file button is actually this button right here and it's called the application button. They decided to get rid of the file button. I don't know why. Maybe because they want to brand their logo or something. But all of your file commands are under here. So anything anytime you would usually use file um, it's under this application button now let's begin uh, learning what these most common toolbar items mean the most common ones that we're going to be working with is probably select object and this say you have an object right here and you have another object right here which is a sphere and I know you guys I didn't go over how to build these yet don't worry uh, we will do that in probably the next tutorial but for now I'm just building them real quick to demonstrate what these tools mean. So a select object pretty much selects between one object and the other. So you probably could have guessed that. And the hotkey for that is Q. And another object that we're going to be using a lot is select and move. And this is the little uh, icon with arrows to the north, south, east, and west. So if you select that, you can move your 3D objects around. So you can move it in the X, the Z, or if you click in the middle um, you can move it around like that a little easier probably so again anytime you want to move it on the axis just click hover over the uh, axis and it will light up 
or if you want to move it like freeform, click this little box right here in the middle and the entire thing will light up. And again, that's just how you move any object. And again, the hotkey for that is W. I don't know where they got the letters for this. Uh, Q for select object, W if you want to move to your select and move tool. I don't know, but what if? Alright, the other tool that we're going to be working with a lot is select and rotate. What this does, it's like a select tool, bam, but you also get this rotate function right here. So you can hover over one of these axes and you can rotate this as well. Or your master axis, bam. Or again, you can go to the middle one and then this lets you hover or rotate in any direction. So let's get a good angle to rotate with and bam. Just use our select and rotate tool. Again, the hotkey for that is E. So anytime you want to use it and you're too lazy to go up here and click the button, I need to click Z. How convenient is that? And the last object, or excuse me, the last tool that we're going to be used to work with our objects for now is called this one, and this is the scale. And what this does is pretty much change the size of your object. So if we go ahead and click the center, we can go ahead and change the size by dragging our mouse up or dragging it down while it's clicked. Once you release, it sets the size. You can also change the size of different um, axes by clicking one of them and changing it and stretching it or clicking another one and you can get some pretty uh, messed up looking looking uh, shapes this way but you know that's how you do it so and bam look at that so in this tutorial we covered pretty much what everything's called the interface and we also covered the common tools that we're going to be using in the next tutorial I'm probably going to be going over um, different ways that you can view your objects because it's kind of important it's probably the most important tutorial the next one so for now just play around with it um, click a button bunch click a bunch of buttons I'm sure you'll figure something out but uh thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial